Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to AIN channel. In my previous video, I promised you that I'll take you on the spot to write. So, today, come with me on another adventure through Afterland. And today, we are on the Gondo Letter attraction. See the baths, the water bodies, the gardens around it, the trees in it. Yes. As you already all may know, Eftelon is a popular team park located in the Netherlands. It's in a town called Cas Huvel, which is in the southern part of the Netherlands, in the North Brabant province. There are 12 provinces in the Netherlands, and we are in one of them, a town in one of them. And we are going on a nice boat ride. So, Afterlon is known for its fairy tilt themed attractions, rides, and beautiful park settings, making it a top tourist destination in the Netherlands. So, if you ever come to the Netherlands, please visit Afterlon. If you are in the Netherlands, let me know if you visited. After that, in the comment section, what was your experience? Did you like it? I loved it, but I want to know yours too. We are passing through a bridge, and bridges are such, such a component of, of canals. And much of what we will be talking today about is on canals. Yes, because we are on a gondoletto canal trip. So, the Netherlands is well known for its extensive canal systems. And there are several reasons for that. I know you know many of them, but I will list just a few. Yes, just a few. There are historical reasons, two geographic reasons, three practical reasons, four agricultural purposes, urban planning, and many more. As you can see, we are having fun. So, why? Are the Dutch known for canals? Yes, a significant portion of the Netherlands is situated below sea level. Yes, and to avoid flooding because of the low lying topography of the Netherlands, the canals are very useful because they are used to manage water levels and prevent. Ladder. The Dutch have developed an intricate system of dikes, dams, and canals. Another time we'll talk about dikes and dams, but today let's do canals. So the canals are really a vital part of the system and they help control flow of water and also aid drainage. Land reclamation. I'm sure you have heard this fun fact that the Netherlands have claimed so much land from water bodies. And they have a long history of land reclamation, which involves draining water from low lying areas to create usable land for building, for farming and other things. Oh, 
happiness of a transportation. So canals play a crucial role in the process by providing a means to transport excess water away from the land that has been claimed. Historically, canals were one of the major ways of moving between cities and places in the Netherlands long before we got a very elaborate train railway system and and modern road systems so these canals connected towns cities and ports facilitating trade and commerce yeah i'm sure you know how famous the dutch are when it comes to trading and commerce i won't go into much details around this but canals are also useful for urban planning yes Many Dutch cities were built around canals. Can you think of any city that was built around canals? Yes, the Amsterdam. Amsterdam, yes. You see, oh, the fish, the fish, the fish, they are colorful. And there are more. See, two more. Along with the dark. Oh my, such beautiful fishes. Wow. Yes. So, back to what I was telling you some of the famous examples of cities that were built around canals. The mega cities. I'm going to mention Amsterdam because I live in Amsterdam, Utrecht because I worked in Utrecht, and Delft because of the famous Delft Blue. Yes, and they have very beautiful canal systems that are charm to the character of the city. This attraction is beautiful. The attraction on the screen right now. It's nice. I'm a bit scared because it goes like up and down with you almost turning down. And as we are on it, we are also looking at other attractions that we would soon go to. You see the people walking around. And also the ducks. And the greenery. And the water. And the stones it makes a very beautiful combination. And some of us are still enjoying our chips. So it's quite relaxing. You really do not need to do much. All you have to do is sit and relax and enjoy. Enjoy the calm atmosphere. Take a bit of break from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and enjoy it. As you may see, we are not in life jackets. Are you surprised? Maybe you are not. It's quite common in the Netherlands. However, many people in the Netherlands learn how to swim very, very early. As I noted, it's there is a lot of water bodies around the main cities in the Netherlands. There are canals, there are water bodies in many places. So swimming is also an important way of surviving in the city in case of emergency. So many people know how to swim. So it's something that some kids learn very, very early. They start going to swimming classes, getting their diplomas for swimming and all that. 
So that explains why we are not wearing life jackets. And actually, this water body wasn't that very deep. It's, it's kind of that leads me to recreation and tourism. It's kind of a tourist something and a recreational fun. As I told you, we are going on a fun adventure. No, no has no bustles. Serious, serious, serious. You know, all work and no play makes us just add it. So canals are also known for their recreational and tourist purposes so many Dutch canals are used for recreational purposes including boating and fishing and you could see some fishes there no I didn't go to fish I just going to relax they are also popular among tourists who enjoy canal cruises to explore the historic and scenic, scenic aspects of Dutch cities if you haven't been to any of the canal cruise, maybe it's time to think about it. It's not only for tourists, even if you live in the Netherlands, try and have a catch of it, a feel of it. It's nice. And there are a lot of canal cruises in many parts of the Netherlands. And you pay a fee and you enjoy it. It's really nice. You get to also see the city from another angle. Why are canals so popular? Let me continue. Yes, I'm giving the last one and then I need to do something else. I don't want you to be bored because today is all, all fun. Yes, as you can see, my kids are having fun and playing in the boat. So you see the boat? You just relax, do your thing, share stories, make photos, make videos like we are doing. Just enjoy nature. So it's supposed to be very relaxing. And if you want to read a book, you could even like read a book. But I would not recommend reading a book because then you may be so glued to the book that you may not be able to enjoy the many beautiful sights and scenes there. Yes, we have been drawn, our attention has been drawn to something and we are all very deep looking in that direction and trying to understand what is happening. Yes, but it's all fun as you can see. So, the canals are also part of the drainage and agricultural system. Canals have been used for centuries to drain excess water from agricultural fields, improving soil quality and crop yields. This is especially important for a country like the Netherlands with a significant portion of its land below sea level. As you see, whilst we are on Gondolata, we are also trying to see other attractions and make up a list for ourselves where next we really want to go to. What else is happening on the other side? Because the park is big, and whilst trying to navigate all parts of the park, you get you may end up being in one part and not explore the other. If you have more days, then you can explore each part with time in a more relaxed manner. But trust me, when you go there, you have a lot to do and a lot to see, but you don't finish enjoying it. Because at this point, my son has seen people on another ride. And this ride is two people who are feeling it. I don't know the right name for it. I should have checked, but I don't remember. I did it and it was fun, but I did at the end of the day. So feeling 
on it's more like a train but you have to ride it like a bike so it has uh, you have to pedal yes that's the right word pedal is like a bike it was a bit of work but my kids wanted it so we did it it was fun i think mean, it's someone who ride bicycles all the time what am i saying yes so it was fun and you see the train over there and we also went on that train the train was on the water body and that you see now you may also understand or already know the practical reasons why there are many bridges on the canals because they are an important component of canals as they intersect canals often intersect with roads, railways, and pedestrian pathways and similar thing has been done in the park area so bridges allows the transportation use to cross over the canal, maintaining connectivity and facilitating the movement of people. And again, it also gives you access to enjoy a wide variety of the greenery, the, the nature, the water bodies and all that. Very beautiful. Do you see the Thai temple out there? Here, the one in our previous video. That is it. So, if you're out there, you could also still see the water body. Yes, so that's the real, the real way we are getting closer to it. And you see all that attractions at the other side as well. Yes, so Gondoletta offered us a very peaceful and scenic boat ride through the park waterways. So we went through the greenies, I love greenies, the gardens, seeing the fishes and the dogs. But what I also loved was the relaxed like you know the relaxed nature of it it was just a perfect opportunity to unwind and enjoy not all beauty of Eftalon and with it being open top boots like you can see it allows fresh air and unobstructed views of the surroundings like you see the surrounding without nothing blocking you like see, 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 see. and it's a self-paced experience it, it's it's i don't control the speed or the direction of the boat so it's allowed me and my family to explore the waterways at our leisure you know <laughs> yes and there is relaxation and rest yes wasn't it relaxing as you watch i thought i think you are relaxed as well it's not very busy and yeah it's a sit back relax and take in the serene ambience we are heading towards a waterfall. We are heading towards this waterfall, but we are still enjoying the the scenery, the ducks, the ducks. Some are on the water, some are by the side. So it's just nice the flowers. And yes, this is the waterfall. Doesn't remind you of any waterfall you've been to. And that's for me, it reminded me of a waterfall in Ghana called Queen Tampa Waterfalls. I've been there like several times. Every school trip seems to be there because it was fun. So it reminds me of Queen Tampa Waterfall. Maybe it reminds you of another waterfall, but yes such a beautiful place 
as you can see it's family friendly but the letter is suitable for all ages I have a little one there as you can see making it a family friendly attraction so Oh, it's almost the end of the road for us and so with the memory of our peaceful gondoleta adventure we thought we should share the beauty with you it was a leisurely coach ride through its wondrous waterways thank you and bye bye stay blessed Bye, 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 bye. Thank you.